I'm joined now by Dr. Bill Hirsch. He is the incoming Scientific Program Committee Chair, as well as the Professor and Chair of Oregon Health and Science University. Welcome, Dr. Hirsch. Pleasure to be here. So why is the AMIA Annual Symposium considered to be the premier event for informatics? Well, the AMIA Symposium is the premier event because of the scientific presentations and other content as well. But the science is rigorous and objective. It really pushes the field forward. And then the other content panels on policy, on education, things like that, provide a really rich program by which even those, who, even those of us who have been in the field for over two decades are able to learn new things from. And of course, it's not just the content, but it's also the hallway conversations, the networking, and so forth, um, that really um, enriches one's knowledge and, and awareness of the field. When you talk to people about why they should come here, what do you tell them the primary reason is for them to attend? I tell people that AMIA truly is the most prestigious, highest quality, scientific and professional organization in the informatics field. I think all of us who have been in AMIA for a long period of time, as I have really loved the organization, um, all of our friends come to the AMIA meeting, all of our colleagues, and we maintain the quality because we want it to be good and it turns out being good. So it really is the premier scientific event. You can go to other meetings, you can go to trade shows and things like that and you, know, you might get the pitch from someone, whether it's a company or an organization or whatever. At the AMIA meeting people think and approach things critically and you have to be actually prepared to answer those questions when you give your presentation, but that makes for a much richer experience. What's the mission of the meeting? I believe, well, the mission goes back to the mission of informatics. And as I've said in many places, biomedical and health informatics is the scientific discipline that applies information to improve either an individual's health or healthcare delivery or public health or biomedical research. So informatics uses information, often with technology, we're often associated with computers, although it's really more the information to improve health and how healthcare is delivered. And it's the scientific discipline that does the research, that does the critical thinking to make sure that kind of information is used most effectively. How have you made your mark on this meeting? Earlier in my career I um, was, uh, I still do research, um, but was very involved in a specific area of research, actually in the area of search. I was actually um, building and studying search systems before Google, before PubMed, and um, obviously that world has changed a lot since uh, search has become more widespread. But early in my career, I presented papers here. They went through a peer review process. I was asked the tough questions on the podium. Um, in more recent years, I've focused more on education and some of the broader issues around workforce in this field. We know that it's not enough to put good technology, good software, good techniques, we actually need people who are trained and know how to do that and can go out into different hospitals, different healthcare delivery systems, even into physician practices and have the knowledge to know what works best. There's a growing knowledge of best practices, there's a growing scientific base of the field that informs us on how to use informatics best in healthcare. And those of us who are in academia are relatively small to the country as a whole, so we need practitioners just like you need medical practitioners who know how to go out and do surgery and pediatrics and things like that. You need informatics professionals, and, and Amy has taken a big leadership role in that, and I've been involved in a number of those educational activities. So what are your priorities for next year? My priorities, like any AMIA scientific program chair over the years is to put on the highest quality scientific conference. I think some of the issues we'll be dealing with next year is looking at some of the results of this huge federal investment, how, where it's helped, where it's made things worse potentially. So the, we'll be looking for the best science that gets submitted, the best panel proposals about policy and other issues and making the meeting 
not only scientifically strong, but pertinent and up-to-date and valuable to people who attend it. Well, Dr. Hirsch, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time today.